How do dental implants work? So, dental implants are artificial tooth roots. They look like screws usually. They go into the jawbone, on the upper or lower. Some go as high as the cheekbone called zygomatic dental implants. But they're essentially artificial roots to anchor a missing tooth or a section of teeth or say all of your teeth. The, the way they work is they actually integrate to your jawbone. So the screw goes into the bone, it's generally threaded, it's drilled into place. You have to open the gum typically, uh, drill, the, uh, drill a round hole to exactly the right depth and, and width. There's a lot of parameters. And once the implant is in place, it goes through a process of integration. And that integration, when done by an experienced provider, usually has a success rate in about 97-98% of the time that it will work. doesn't mean it's going to be good, but it will work. So it fuses to the bone, and it becomes an artificial root. So typically the timeline for the you know, straightforward dental implant would be to have the implant inserted, the, the gum is open, the implant is placed, and we wait for integration to occur. Typically, on average, that takes anywhere from three to six months, depending on how hard or soft the bone is. And the, so it's about the quality of the bone, how hard or soft, and the quantity. Do you have a lot of bone or do you have very little bone? That's, that's a big portion of the, of the surgical portion, is wait for integration to occur. And so the other part is making the tooth. How does making the tooth work? So typically, an implant has a, has a screw and the implant crown or, or the teeth will screw onto the, onto the implant that's in the jawbone, so it will be securely in place. Typically, most of my cases are non-removable. Uh, there's things called overdentures which snap in and out, and teeth that come in and out. Um, I don't provide a lot of that service because, frankly, people don't really want them. They want teeth that stay in like their original. So the teeth are either screwed in or cemented in, Sometimes it can just be one single single tooth, or it can be a bridge of teeth, or a whole a whole arch of teeth, the top and the bottom, simultaneously. So how they work is after the surgery, uh, I will take some digital impressions, which is kind of like a, a mold but done with a with a wand, and we'll fabricate a titanium abutment is something the crown will sit on or the bridge will sit on or fuse onto and those get screwed or cemented in the mouth they get delivered to you um, where you go through a process where you get seated and check the bite and how it fits take some x-rays to make sure that it works out well that everything is sitting flush and that's predominantly the the process for most patients that's a really really basic look at it of course, some patients need bone grafting. They don't have enough gum or enough bone. That's very common because once you remove a tooth, the bone will begin to shrink. The bone and gum atrophy. It shrinks down just if you, weren't, if you didn't use this hand for a month or your arm, you'd find that your whole, your whole arm or hand would begin to shrink down a little bit if you looked at the two side by side. So it gives you back some jaw function and ability to smile and look nice and gives your confidence back. So that's really the basics of dental implants. There's a lot out there on the topic. Uh, be careful of what you read about them. They're certainly not permanent. Um, dental implants have a lifespan like everything else and I have a lot of uh, posts specifically about revisions and redos and failures uh, but overall it's got a very high success rate. Uh, do your due diligence uh, when you search out your dentist for this. And that should help you at least know the basics of how dental implants work. Thanks so much.